So here's exactly how to actually do this. The broad search right here is going to cover just your major terms. So think of like insurance. This way, if you want to see what kind of insurance offers are out there, you can see what type of things are selling for insurance. And you want to look into some, let's say in this case, CPA, right? Uh, a really brief overview tells me that the biggest things that I see here is uh, tooth and life insurance. Okay, if I want to drill down further, and here's car, right? I see a couple car things. If I want to drill a little further, I can go a little further by typing in, directly type in car insurance or dental, right? Car insurance, and then hit search. Now, I'm doing this kind of broad. This is like a really broad overview of what happens when you aren't sure of uh, what niche you want to hit, right? If you're sure of the niche, it'd be a lot easier for you. But you see a lot of Geico commercials, right, for car insurance. That's fine. But let's say you kind of know what you want to do. Let's say you really want to be in the um, the niche of, let's say, coaching, right? I would just go broad with the term and just see what shows up. Now, when you when you go really broad, it's going to show you anything that was in the title, anything that's in the description, anything that's in the URL, right? Facebook is basically mostly about... Um, the big thing with Facebook is it's really about the images. It's not so much about the text, right? Text is like 20%. So you see Tony Robbins, right? You see a couple Tony Robbins images. Now, if you see a couple Tony Robbins images, that means the first image worked. He's just he's putting it up again. Very many images in Facebook, they don't last long. Here's some life coach training. That's a very common image. Uh, there's Tony Robbins. But let's see Tony Robbins, right? And let's see what happens when, let's see what happens when you click on Tony Robbins and you go to his page, right? Hi, I'm Tony so Robbins. So the first thing Tony Robbins you're... wants you to see is this basically video. You get instant access, and you can kind of see. Now, let's say you, if you want to go into the coaching model, you can kind of copy his, his layout and copy his ads, okay? So in this case, we know that the URL says Robbins in it. Let's say we wanted to see how many things that Tony Robbins actually has put out there. I might want to in the URL search, <coughs> or actually in general, put in Robbins. This is a search for Tony Robbins, okay? And let's see here. As we can see, there's more Tony Robbins ad. There's also Baskin Robbins ice cream. So if you're really hungry, you can send a Baskin Robbins gift coupon to Tony Robbins. Anyways, um, we can see these Tony, Tony Robbins ads. You just see he's changing the background up but a smiling face seems to work best for him. So if you're in the coaching world, a smiling face and changing the background up might be what you need to run ads. So this is giving you a really quick indication of how easy it is to run this and what to learn, right? So we already know that this is, the, this is where he sends all of his traffic to. And if you want to test it out, you can click another ad like this and see if there's another ad, another page he runs it to. Nope. Hi, I'm Tony so Robbins. He likes this. He likes his page. He knows it works for him. Now, if he likes his page and you know it works for him, guess what? You know it works for you. Know this is going to work for you if you're in the coaching niche. That's how you do it. You want to go broad, okay? And then if you want to go further, <coughs> um, like Robbins, go even further. You just put Robbins in, okay? So this is to help you get. This is that you're like a living education of how to actually see traffic in real time and to figure out what traffic works, what landing pages work. Now, a landing page means either a place where they just want your email or a sales page. That's what that means, okay? Now, I'll give you a couple more, one more quick example, right? Um, this guy, James Wedmore, does a lot of video advertising, right? So, let's see. I put that in video. I probably shouldn't have. It's probably too broad. But this is actually a really good image. I like this. Shocking video goes viral. This video went viral. Now, fat melting video. This is actually for fat melting. And they're using a picture, a crazy image of a child like that, and it works. So uh, that's pretty interesting. So let's see where this even goes to. I'm actually just more curious. Okay, so basically how to lose weight, right? Just a typical weight loss thing. Okay, so that's completely not only uh, not really useful, but let's go to James Wedmore. Let's see if I can find Wedmore. I know he does a lot of uh, a lot of stuff on YouTube and um and uh, videos. Okay. So here's James Wedmore. 
Uh, so again, this is more of a coaching. He does more video stuff. You want to see what he's doing with his ads? Look, taking pictures of himself, putting them upside down, making them green, red. So he's taking the same image and just repurposing it. Now let's say I want to see James' sales page. Again, Video Traffic Academy. Click on it. And let's see what it looks like. So I'm actually getting an education. I'm going beyond the idea that I want to... Hi, James. What? I want to merely just you know, uh, learn traffic passively through a course, I'm actually seeing exactly what they're running, okay? It's showing what they're running, and they're showing what they're running too. So this is, so now you can go and take the best elements of their sales pages, right? And that's how you do this, okay? It's really, really, really simple, guys. And like I said, we're just, we're, this is just, get, this is just kicking off. It's going to be, become bigger and better and we're going to have a lot more stuff in here. We're going to have newsfeed ads. We're going to have a lot more data. Uh, this is really just the beginning of how you use <clears throat> Spy Perfection. So hopefully that gets you guys going. And that's just a basic overview. But again, you don't want to go too narrow, okay? Don't put in stuff like really low-calorie diet, you know, or someone said low-carb low, uh, low carb diet. Well, don't put in low-carb. I mean, sorry, don't put low-carb diet. Maybe just try low-carb, right? See what pops up. And um, protein bars. Okay, so paleo bread, paleo wraps. Maybe low carb is too much, and maybe low carb will be um, will be something that's added. Uh, we'll, we'll have a lot more stuff in the, in the new data coming in. Okay, I just put the word carb in, right? For just just carb, um, cheap carb diet. Lose weight with zero carb, gluten-free noodles. That's a physical product, so low carb, so simple, low carb recipes. Okay, so if you're like the low carb thing, you can just click on this and uh, see where it goes. So they're actually just promoting a page. So click, click for free healthy recipes, right? And they're just all they're doing is just promoting their page. So. I really, would, I really would recommend that. You typically want to do something where you can actually monetize it quickly. Now, if you want to grow a page and you want to do it, great. It's going to give you a lot of tips. Now, of course, the news feed is going to be more towards uh, selling things directly. So, anyways, you'll be seeing some changes. This is a really quick overview. Hopefully, this helps you and gets you going.